Hello Star Wars fans and toy fanatics, Steve here with your friends. It is Tuesday, October 7th, 2014. And as for today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the new Star Wars Rebels, the Inquisitor's TIE Advanced Prototype Vehicle. Now, just a quick thing about Star Wars Rebels. Um, like many of you, I did also purchase the Walmart exclusive DVD over the weekend. And uh, I enjoyed this very much. Uh, it was very, very good. Um, the characters are, are very cool. And the story is actually very good as well. And looking forward to... Uh, whole new installment in this uh, series here and I can officially say that I'm totally on board with Star Wars Rebels great series looks to be anyway and uh, you know it looks like very very cool things so uh, if you haven't watched it yet I highly recommend watching this and if you have watched it you know exactly what I'm talking about it's very very cool and uh, I'm just really excited about this new series that's coming to uh, us via Disney XD so that being said Let's take a look at the vehicle here. I did pick these up at Target today. Uh, these are retailing about $24.99 or $25 and change, which is not bad, not a bad price. Um, could have been a little cheaper, but I'm sure given around Christmas time or a little bit after Christmas, you probably will see these go down to about that $20 or to $15 price range. Mark my words. So, let's talk about this vehicle here. Now, if you have not owned this vehicle yet, or do you wish to, or you're on the fence about it, let me be some help here for you. And try to take a look at this vehicle a little bit more up close and in detail. And you can decide whether you want to add this to your collection or not. Now, there are a lot of uh, YouTubers out there in the Star Wars community that don't collect vehicles, which is, you know, that's cool too. Uh, and there's a lot of you that do collect vehicles. Now, I do collect action figures and vehicles, so I'm a big fan of all Star Wars vehicles, so I could not help but add this to my collection. In my opinion, it's actually a very, very cool, nice looking vehicle, and uh, you know, you can't go wrong. Uh, in my opinion, of course. So, before we take a look at the vehicle itself in more detail, let's take a look at the box that comes in really quick. Now, as far as the packaging is concerned, uh, I'm a big fan of the packaging. You know, it's got some pretty cool stuff on there. You do have Star Wars Rebels on the top right corner here. And, you, of course, you do have the Disney logo in the top left corner. A nice shot of the vehicle itself with a, in a fantasy situation, of course. And it does come with some firing uh, rockets and an uh, opening canopy. And uh, the wings do fold in and out. The only thing it does not do is, like with other uh, TIE fighter so they used to be in the past uh, that the wings used to have this button where you, the wings would come off. But unfortunately, this one does not do that, but it's not a big deal. I'm just nitpicking here. But still, very, very nice vehicle. Let's take a look at the top of the box here for you real quick. There's a nice Disney logo again with a very nice shot of the Stormtrooper with the Rebel insignia on it. really like that. Very, very cool. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. There's a couple of things that are uh, available features in the ship here. As you can see, the wings do open and close. And you do have a cockpit for your action figures there. It does fit one very nicely. Again, it does come with firing missile launchers, which is pretty cool, I guess. And a little bit of the text, if you like to read that. Overall, very nice looking packaging, in my opinion. There's the bottom of the box here, and a few other vehicles that also are released in this line. And which I'll get to uh, this week, so stay tuned for those if you have not seen those, or if you want to see another review on those vehicles, stay tuned to my channel, which I'll be reviewing these this week. Okay, so let's take a look at the vehicle itself, which in my opinion is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's got some nice detail, minimal paint applications. It does come with a few stickers here which are here for you. Now they are very small. There's a few that go on the inside and on the outside. Uh, for the most part I'm really uh, not too good at <laughs> putting these. They are very small so uh, I probably won't keep these in the box but they're there if you want to add those. Also it does come with a small little instruction booklet here which is a very one page thing. Not too big deal. Uh, you got the top here and the bottom piece, and that's pretty much it other than the rockets you insert, but that's pretty much it. Nothing too much to, uh, to uh, put together. Here's the other side there, featuring some of the, where the decals go. But overall, you know, it's very simple. 
Now, as far as the vehicle is concerned, it's got some really nice detail, in my opinion. Um, I do like the whole. Uh, it's very, very eerily close to the Darth Vader uh, Tie Fighter, which is very, very cool, I guess. Uh, again, you do see some very nice detail in the ship as well. Got some nice minimal paint applications, but still very, very nice. There's the bottom of the ship there. As you can see, there's a button right there on the bottom where it does fire your rockets there. Just push that and your rockets come flying out. And some more detail on the bottom of the ship there, as you can see. It's got some very clean looking. No weather or anything, but still very cool. There's the top of the ship as well. It's got some nice little detail on there as well. Now the canopy does open as well, which you can insert a figure inside. And uh, it's kind of dark in there, but you know, for the most part you can see what's going on. Not too much going on there. You do have a seat for your action figure and a couple places to apply some stickers, which is very cool. Now the wings themselves do fold in and out. You can do whatever you like. You can fold them all the way out if you like, or halfway in, halfway out, whatever you want to do. But it gives you the option to do whatever you like. There's a detail inside of the the wings there. And I'll take a look at the other side as well. Pretty much, you know, basic stuff. But you know, it's got some nice clean lines and nice some nice detail on there. Pretty cool looking in my opinion. And there's the bottom again, and that's pretty much it for this vehicle here. A very nice addition to anybody's Star Wars collection, I might add. And again, you can find this at Target this week or in the coming weeks for sure, if you're interested in something like that to add to your collection. Very, very nice. And, you know, overall, just a very, very cool vehicle in my opinion. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching today, guys. I uh, hope that was a little helpful. Uh, to help you decide if you want to add this to your collection or not. In my opinion, it's actually very, very cool and an awesome, awesome figure. Um, excuse me, awesome, awesome vehicle, I should say. So, until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Stay tuned. I will be reviewing the Phantom Attack Shuttle and also the ATDP. So, stay tuned for that. So, until next time, my friends, thank you so much. Have a great day and happy hunting.